guys say we're gonna shoot one more video. Let's see if we do it. sex object and I used to be far more aware of it when I was younger and you know that I would get attention but when I got attention I realized I didn't want it just wanted to be left alone of a product of narcissistic mothers to make it obvious but obviously not that obvious at least not obvious to anyone but me that maybe the parts aren't all that's needed and people that disregard this information That information is much needed in our society But they'll never notice But they'll still whine when those same sex is shit Manipulate, 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 manipulate That's why yours truly does the research that yours truly does. That's why yours truly stays up all night reading articles about brain functioning, malfunctioning, dysfunctioning. And it's funny, my therapist told me that I knew a lot for a layman. I told him, I'm a lay woman to you. Anyway. He was right though. Most medical professionals are pretty impressed with me because I do all the stuff that they won't do. And it's not necessarily their fault for this. They do what the system tells them and what they tell them goes along with the communist machine, the capitalist, socialist, nihilist, communist machine. Yeah, just say nihilist. There you go. Yeah, I mean, I don't even think any of the political parties matter anymore because I feel like they're all like morphing together anyway. Like they've used capitalism and communism. It's so funny. 
like they literally use one of them to bitch about the other one and they're both still like screwing everyone over. It's funny. So when people talk about socialism and they're like, socialism sucks. Well, it's like we already have some socialism, right? Like the welfare state. So that's a socialist system and it fucking sucks and they're doing all kinds of fucked up shady ass shit and we've talked about it before I don't feel like getting into it again but yeah they do a lot of fucked up shit and so you can say oh well that's cause socialism is bad but it's I mean they're doing it for the purpose of making money though So, it's more about just cashing in on everybody's misery, okay? That's, that's what it's really about. And they'll use all those different political philosophies to do it. Because the, all those philosophies are good for something, okay? You know, capitalism's obviously good for, like, making money. Socialism is obviously good for stealing shit from people that make money, okay? And then communism is really good at all the godless, soulless shit, you know? But it's like... Yeah, I'm not a scholar, but, like, I'm not... I'm very college and educated. Like, I dropped out of college so I could become a full-time alcoholic. And went to a rehab clinic, so success, success. Um, but yeah, dropping out of college is one of the smartest things I've ever done. Just working in a restaurant, I'll learn so much about the world. I'll learn way more about the world working in the restaurant industry than taking a fucking humanities course, you know. So this person I work with, he was showing me some shit that his girlfriend got. I was like, she's in college, isn't she? And he was like, yeah. It's like some university in Chattanooga or some shit. But it was like about all the the letter people. The, the fucking gay squad. The homo squad. Yeah, a lot of them don't subscribe to all that shit. Because it's just such a fucking waste of time, you know? So. Dude, I love the way that bar smells. You know, like, if you go somewhere that smells really good, and, like, you get that smell, like, on your clothes... Like, if you're in somebody's house and their house smells really good, or it smells really bad, like, it smells like dogs or, like, gerbils or some shit, then you have that smell on you. But, like, yeah, this bar just has this really distinct, like, kind of musty smell. All of that shit. That's one of my favorite things. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm gonna go to bed. Good night.